Grandstand Betters here with your daily free sports pick for Monday, March 14th. And stick around today. At the end of the video, we're going to give you two upset winners that we think are going to come through in the first round of March Madness. Just a reminder, though, if you're new to Grandstand Betters, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for all our free picks, predictions, and contests all year long. And while you're at it, smash that like button for another NHL winner last night. This one was in the Heritage Classic. Today, we have an NBA pick for you. But before we get into that, let's recap yesterday's winner. And for the second day in a row, things did start out pretty shaky as the Maple Leafs and the Sabres went tied 0-0 into the first intermission. With all the pregame hoopla, it wasn't that surprising that both teams might come out a little slow, although there was 23 shots on goal, so let's not discount what Anderson and Mrazek did in that first period. The second period, though, was a different story. There were three goals scored in the first three minutes of that one, and we got one more before the break. So 2-2 game going into the third, and from that point on, it was all Buffalo. They put 15 shots on goal in the third, putting two past Mrazek, and then giving us a nice empty net winner with two and a half minutes remaining. Uh, and this game is exactly the reason we preach never to take high juice teams in the NHL. Sabres winning five to two in that one. Got us over the six and a half with the empty netter. We'll take it for our second NHL win in a row. Tonight, only one NHL game on the slate, so we're going to pass on that one and look to the NBA with a matchup between the LA Clippers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavs are a six-point favorite at home with the over-under at 211. Clippers, 36-34. and 34. They're battling right now across... Uh, with a crosstown nemesis, the Lakers, for a position in the play-in round in the Western Conference, although they do have a five-and-a-half game lead over the Lakers. Lakers just look awful. Lost again last night, 140 to like 111 to the Suns. Clippers, they're playing much better right now. They've gone 7-3 and three in their last 10. And all the Cl although the Clippers uh, are not a very high-scoring offense, they do shoot the ball very well from the perimeter at 36.6% rate, which is fourth best in the NBA. Now, they are without George and Leonard for an extended period of time, and Covington is out as well tonight. But their role players have been playing well recently, and they're going to be facing a Cavs team that is stricken with injuries right now. These Cavs, they're clinging to the sixth seed in the East, but they're quickly falling down the standings, having gone three and seven in their last 10, including a couple of back-to-back -back losses to the Heat and Bulls this weekend. Uh, this is going to be their third game in four nights, and as we mentioned, they have injury problems that are just piling up. Allen is out, and a slew of guys are game-time decisions. Uh, the Cavs are already, they're not a very high-scoring offense in the NBA, and they're just actually sitting below the Clippers uh, at that mark. They're going to have some problems tonight with this Clippers defense, one that on the road is only allowing opponents to 44.4% from the field. So what's our best bet in Clippers-Cavs? Well, we think the six points the Cavs are given is just a little too much for this young, injury-stricken team right now. And the Clippers have enough talent on their team to make this a one-score possession late in the game. So with our best bet for Monday, March 14th, we're going to take the Clippers plus six over the Cavs. Now, the March Madness bracket has been revealed. And remember, we're hosting a group on ESPN's Tournament Challenge where the winner's taking away $100. Make sure you click the link in the description and sign up today. Now, we ourselves have actually five future bets that we made in November with Kansas, Texas Tech, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Illinois. And they've all made the tournament, so we are ecstatic about that. But just for fun, how about we pick two teams that could pull off a huge upset in round one. And first, we think St. Peter's has been feisty all year long. We've gone against them many a times, and they have hurt us this season. They're going to play a Kentucky team that has had some shortcomings this year, and it would not surprise us if uh, they struggle a little with St. Peter's, who uh, who knows, maybe they take down a two seed or a 15 and a two again this year. But I think St. Peter's has a chance to upset Kentucky. Another one, this is kind of a little hedge against one of our future bets, but Chattanooga has more than enough weapons to take down Illinois. They will just have to find some way to out-rebound the Illini, but that is another one we could potentially see happening in the first round. So there you have it, two little flyers we're going to throw some pizza money on in the first round. St. Peter's over Kentucky and Chattanooga 
over Illinois. Just a friendly reminder for everybody out there that our free picks on YouTube actually don't make our Grandstand Betters daily card, but are here to help guide you in your decision making for the day. So if you are looking at for that full card, head on over to GrandstandBetters.com, uh, become part of our family, and start living that Grandstand life. But as always, sit back, relax, enjoy your Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow.